hello everyone in the previous video we created this uh, register registration forum and also a login forum okay we performed these two functionalities successfully in the previous video you have the link in the description for that video in this video we will just secure our password okay so let's see the previous one the password okay in the previous video we just created this database yeah let's connect with it and just come here to the employee come to the employees table yeah, we stored these um, users, okay, but uh, we didn't uh, secure our password, okay, our password is just simple password, okay, if anyone access to our database, so they can um, access, uh, they can use our password. So for the purpose of security, so we should uh, change our password to the hash format, okay, to the hash. So for that, let's uh, use a Bcrypt library. Uh, first of all, we should install that and then we will use that to uh, hash our password, change the password and store them in the uh, database. So let's first of all install the bcrypt package, okay, just come here to the terminal. And in the terminal, let's create a new one and let's move to the server folder. Yeah, we have two projects, one for client side and the second one for server, node.js npm install bcrypt let's press enter so first of all we will just hash our pass password whenever we are registering it means creating a new account then we will just compare the password back when we would like to log into the system okay so we will perform these two operation operations in this video yeah, the package has installed so let's close it and now we will use it okay so first of all let's move to the where we would like to uh, create a new account just come here to the index.js so this is for the login and here we have the register okay here we are creating a new account so let's first of all import that and let's use const bcrypt is equal to require bcrypt okay so after uh, using it so now let's use it okay first of all just come here to the register uh, whenever we are creating a new account account so we should uh, um, change the password uh, we should hash the password okay so let's first of all extract the fields we will like const uh, name email password is equal to request.body we will extract these uh, fields uh, from request.body so now i will use bcrypt.hash function crypt.hash and here first i will pass the um a string okay the password that we have okay the password then i will pass the salt salt is just um, a character for example we would like to assign 10 okay it will generate a 10 unique character okay it will make this password unique every time okay just it will do like this and after that we will get uh, a hash password so now let's use this method inside that okay just come here paste it here and instead of this let's write uh, first name then we will write uh, email then we will write hash okay so it will create a new card account through email uh, name email and hash password so that catch there was any error so just console.log error.message so let's try it okay let's come here to the uh, register page and also come to the database we have these accounts here and let's uh, just enter a new name dot com enter a password let's press the register button so we came to the login so let's check it refresh the page yeah we've refreshed so this is the uh, new um, a gmail the bus the password didn't add it so let's check it where is the error just come here employee.create name email and hash so let's first of all check where is the error server is running okay 
it has not generated the hash password oh no for that we should write like this okay that is the third field is password so we should like that is the password field we should assign the hash these two are the same okay name name okay this is name name okay these are the same so we don't need to write that so for the password the, this uh, is changed so we should write like this so let's create a new account and let's move to the sign up latip gmail.com and let's enter a password let's register so let's come here and refresh it yeah we have this okay this is the account that we has created see this is the hash password that which has generated okay so now let's uh, back we should log in through this account and we will just um, compare it okay we will uh, first of all fetch this record then we will compare it with the password that we are entering from this uh, user interface okay here so then we will check compare them then we will uh, log into the system so just come here to the login system the logging api so here i will write the code so in the login uh, whenever we um, find the based on the email okay if the email was existed so then we will uh, fetch a record okay so for that record let's use the compare method bcrypt dot compare so first i will pass the string that i have um, got from the front end okay this password i will just pass this one after that the um, st the password which uh, we pitched from the uh, database okay user dot password and after that we will create a function that will be error and response so now if there was any error so we will just uh, return result.json the password is incorrect let's uh, just if response so then we will return result.json Control V OK. Or we can simply write like this, okay. Yes, it is okay. So let's use it now. Let's remove this code. This code, let's remove it. Okay. Yeah. Here I will just take this code. I will paste it here. Yes, now it is okay. So let's try it, save it, and let's move to the front end. Just come here, and we should move to the console come here to the console and here is the console let's write latib at gmail.com what was the password was one two three four five so let's press login uh, we came we successfully log into the system okay home component successfully but if we write wrong password let's appreciate again latib at gmail.com and we write something like one two three four blah 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 login and what will be the result i think we can solve the result yeah if error login no record existed it is okay just the problem is here in the error if the password was not correct so then it should return this statement to us so let's write something like this okay else paste it here uh, let's save it now and let's come here back 
see the password is incorrect okay so let's uh, write it correct gmail.com and the password is incorrect login see the password is incorrect right now okay but if i write the correct password press the login see we came to the login and we successfully log into the system so it was all about the uh, security by the password purpose and how to hash the password and how to compare that back uh, and the sign up and login forum was created in the previous video you have a link for that video in the description so i hope this video is helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and also like the video and share with friends thanks for watching